Hello there and welcome to this episode of Inside Southeastern Baseball with Head Coach J.R. Tees, presented by your local Southern Quality Ford dealers and also Champagne Beverage. As we shoot here at Brady's in downtown Hammond, I want to thank Brady's for all they do for us uh, here on our program. At this time, we welcome to the show the Head Baseball Coach of the Southeastern Lions, Coach J.R. Tees. Coach, thanks for being here. A very busy week for your ball club. You had five games in a seven-day period and, and you had to go on the road for four of them. Yeah, you know, playing five games in a week is tough. It's demanding on you, and when you go on the road for them and they make a long trip to San Antonio like we did, it's even a bigger challenge. But the guys did a great job responding to that challenge. Well, Coach, the week started on Tuesday night down in New Orleans. You took on the Tulane Green Wave, and it seemed like here in 2012 your club uh, brought out the best in Tulane. They played good baseball against your club. Tulane swung the bat well. They have probably the best offensive team that they've had in the last seven years that I've been here, and, and they did a good job swinging the bat. Any ball we left up, they capitalized on it. Well, Coach, your team came right back on Wednesday night and took on Jackson State at Alumni Field. Uh, this was a ball game uh, that was rescheduled due to rain and was able to put in here. Yeah, Jackson State already clinched the swag. I mean, they're the best team in swag. They've been dominating that league, and our team just absolutely dominated them on Wednesday night. Swung the bat very well, put up 13 runs, and true freshman, you know, did a great job. Kyle Keller making his first career start and pitched six strong innings for us. Well, let's go out to Alumni Field at Pat Keneally Diamond and check out the highlights. Here we go. Beautiful Wednesday night at the Pat. Raising Canes night out of Southeastern. Throwing out the first pitch. Does a great job. Good on by that young lady. Kyle Keller, true freshman out, of, freshman out of Jesuit, out of New Orleans, makes his first career start and did a great job for us. Pitched really strong. You can see how much movement he has on his pitches. Gets a strikeout. Big high pop up right field. This is a very nice play by Cody Geiger. Gets over there, finds the wall, uses that warning track. Makes the catch. Call strike three. Tough pitch, but call strike three. Keller goes back to work. Good breaking ball. Runs away from the hitter. Strike three. Good job received by true freshman Sam Roberson. Kyle Keller tests two kid, good kids. You can see a lot of Lad Rose. Swing and a miss. Ball gets a little run to it. I tell you, that pitch was really, really good early on. Did a great job. As you can see, Keller's ball kept running away from their hitters, and they didn't do a good job adjusting. Once they did, he started running in on their hands and really dominated them. This is the end, and he struggled a little bit. Walks in a run. It was really his only hiccup of the ball game was this one inning. Kind of lost command a little bit. But does a great job eliminating the big inning, breaking the ball down. They get out front, get the fly ball. Good job by pitching the Kyle right there to get out of that big inning. Here come the lines. Michael Poo Poo Rutland hits a tough hop. Then six hole and third base can't quite make the play because of speed. Rutland gets down there. Brock Abair lays off tough pitch. Once we got that pitch from the stretch, it was a whole different ball game. The hitters did a good job putting pressure on him. You see Chris Max with his hard hat. That was ball four. First and second. One out. Jonathan Pace lays off a good pitch for ball four. Runners were running on the pitch. Here goes Cody Goggin. Singling it through the right side. Scoring Rutland. Keeping the bases loaded. Good job by Cody. That was a great at bat by Cody. Get a good look up. Bad Rose. Good at bat by Lad. Hitting that big hopper. Forcing some action here. Probably should have tried to get the out of first base. So we put some pressure on him, force the action. He throws it away. Then a little duck, duck, goose. Here comes the Lions. Jonathan Pace comes running in for another run. Kept putting pressure on him. You see, Jack State didn't like that pressure very much. Ball four, great job of Sam Roberson. A good freshman you can see a lot of here at Southeast in the future. He's off a tough pitch. Ben Hernandez, I tell you, Ben's done a great job. You know, one thing he's done lately is he let, him, let himself hit deep in counts. Early in the season, he was trying to swing at everything early, and now he's trusting himself hitting deep in counts, and boy, it's really paying off. It's a big knock right here by Harry Slade. Bases loaded, Harry Slade laces a double down the left field line. Ben Hernandez comes all the way around from first base, scores all three. Good job by Harry. Work on that line up sign a little bit. Michael Rutland, single to the right side. Harry Slade speed comes around, scores easily. Good base running by Rutland, hunting that next base. That's what we want to see. Put that foot on that pedal, hunt that next bag, and that's what Rutt does. Good job, Michael. Big inning right there. We scored a touchdown, went for two, made it eight to one. Kyle Keller gets a pop-up. Cody Geiger comes in, makes the call, gets it. Lions win. Big fashion. Lions beat Jack State 13-2. Kyle Keller makes his first career start. Gets his first career win for the Lions. Harry Slade 2-4. Pace 2 hits. A-Bear 2 hits. Lions improved to 26-12.
Coach, big victory against Jackson State. Your ball club puts up a lot of runs, score eight in one inning. Uh, Kyle Keller was good on the mound for your club, and Jackson State had a good team. Yeah, Jackson State's a solid ball club this year, but Kyle Keller, boy, stuff's really good, as you can see in the highlights. How much movement he has on anything, everything. Pitched on both sides of the plate. Got some big hits. Brock Ebert swung the bat well. Harry Slade swung it well. We got some good production throughout our lineup. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll take a look as the Lions were on the road in San Antonio to take on UTSA. Let's take a break right here on Inside Southeastern Baseball with Coach J.R.T. presented by your local Southern Quality Floor Dealers and also Champagne Beverage.